Welcome to yet again some more. Actually, it should not really be yet again some more. It's the same bloody thing. Oh well, Europa Universalis 4 with the Art of War DLC and Veritas at 42 mod installed. So this is the third episode and we are rolling on Steam. We gained some momentum. So uh, first episode, we uh, actually got Scotland. A lot of it. Okay, they are independent, so both Parts are happy. Uh, we started in the second war. <coughs> uh, the further humi humiliation, humiliation of the French. Even though they are strong and powerful, we will prevail. Because, well, they are already on their knees, knees and we are only supporting yeah, the, the kneeling. Further. So, uh, that's basically what we'll do this episode. We'll uh, try to uh, dismantle the French. So, we may focus on our next enemy. And, well enemy enemy uh, we want to focus or prepare I should say for the colonial era so we uh, wanna let's see where are you going to Fwa. that is everywhere here okay so we want to prepare um, to really dominate um, the colonial era and that means dismantling France because France is one of the parties now I have Portugal and Castilla or Spain at some point no from Spain so we need to beat them at s in some way. So most likely take uh, Iceland or you know non -Nor Norwegian Iceland, or try to invade Morocco so we can get these little islands here as well. Because the the race is really how uh, who has the closest port, the main main port, and that is very simply done. So. Um, Let's first uh, try to dismantle these bastards or buggers or however you want to do it, denounce them. And that's basically by winning battles. And I am very much uh, okay. Wait, you are dropping them off here. That's not too too bad. However, could we perhaps try dropping off here? Okay, that works as well. Oh wait, uh, no, just dropping off in Devon. That's that's fine with me as well. Okay. Uh, let's see, do we not get over our heads here? Shouldn't really be. I mean, we are only rolling with a 7 stack, and that's really the problem. Because we are suppressing another rebellion, unfortunately. Uh, Armagnac, that's or Armagnac. You, go kick their asses. You, make sure their asses are kicked. Uh, on a fleet basis as well. Okay, oh wow, we actually get some assistance, even better. So, uh, we will replenish for a while as well, just, you know, just replenish uh, in battle, because we want that juicy, juicy ticking war score. Excellent, so my King Genoa entered the military alliance with the, our enemy, the Papal States. That is, well, I don't know, don't really care for it. Okay, how is this war going for you? Plus six, excellent. What what is the war about, really? Let's see. You are fighting me against the English-French war, okay? Uh, the attacker against Dauphine in the French reconquest of Louis. Wait, uh, Lyonna, Lyonne, Lyonne. That's, that's well, what we'll roll with, Lyonne. Okay. Um, sure. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't really care for it um, but um, it's, it's good that we are kicking it, uh, it it back because this means yeah a complete dismantle dismantlement and that's what is what we basically want uh, okay they are now trying to regroup stay back get killed little by little okay we kicked the Highlandic uh, rebellion yet again so kicked it in something gained some more war score excellent and now we'll just uh, reposition our troops even further so of course uh, it is very tempted to take lots and lots of lots of territory out of this um, yeah superiority showing of um, war however we will not do such a thing because of course uh, we want to really uh, yeah we don't really want to wait on someone else's agenda not we don't really want to wait for them to feel happy about what we did you know uh, that, that they'll, uh, they'll they'll forgive our our Cruel, cruel uh, engagement. No, instead we will just uh, very simply, uh, yeah, dismantle them. That's. I don't want aggressive expansion to to be on our boot. That's one of the things I want to stay away from. Okay, kill, kill, kill. We've got a decent leader. It's not really the best. Some good roll di dice rolls. 
roll dice. Mm -hmm. uh, sure, Burgundy. Bloody hell, why do we not? Okay, and then we got this leader here from... Oh, Regency, fuck's sake. He died. Okay, feudal homage due. Uh, as the Duke of uh, Dukes of Aquitaine, the King Kings of England owe feudal homage to the King of France. What the fuck? No. Uh, sure. You gain course because I'm not gonna lick your boot. Black news indeed. Uh, okay, losing confidence in government because of course the uh, yeah we, we lost the stability. That's not really okay. Uh, the new queen. The queen married first. Plantagenet, and she is a very, very much more capable, uh, yeah, leader. Okay. Uh, great cunning and silver tongue shall aid us in the forming strong alliances with our friends. That's good. So, because we went from a vegetable to something less of a vegetable, so that's good. So we still lack a little bit in the military side. However, we can compensate. Mm, okay, we are reinforcing. However, we are getting. Uh, a steady stream of money, which is good. Okay. Uh, kick this one in the bum. Now, make sure that our territories on will not be lost. Very simply. Ooh. Um, we will have you. Uh, we're still a little bit picky, are we? Okay. Marriage. It's a good thing. Flanders as well. Marriage. It's a good thing. So, yeah, we want to maintain the Trinity. Of course, perhaps it is a good thing that the Castile is very much uh, against us, because we can perhaps also dismantle that motherfucker at some point. <coughs> because, well, honestly, what, what, what is our goal, honestly? Um, not really sure what our goal is. However, we'll figure it out as we pass along. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay, let's see. Who could we who could we kick out of the war? So Bib states only. Because the rest are really vassals and they can't really speak for for us. What could we accomplish right now? Let's see. Cancelled vacillation of I want Burgundy. Okay. And who would otherwise be your second biggest bitch? You would accept that? Ooh, it will get a little bit intolerable here, I think. Even further, hmm. Yes, I'll, uh, I'll take that. So we need a little bit more war score. And uh, perhaps we'll just drop. So you would accept this. So two of your biggest. Wow, that's okay. And we could uh, give up claims. That's going to give us some problem. However, yeah, that's. Uh, this is, I think, the piece we really want. So you don't really have money. So you might as well not give it. Or, you know, we'll demand it in the end. However, we want a war score of 90. And let's see. So, start at show superiority. We've showed our superiority. I think it's now time to get some of those uh, cores. And your capital's already besieged. So, um, let's see. We'll take yours, I guess. Uh, however, I am very... Well, no. I think I think we've got so many friendlies around. It doesn't really matter anymore, so we'll just carpet the siege the fuck out of them. Okay. Okay. There we are. Carpet siege. If you're not familiar with it, press D once you've uh, secured uh, your siege or besieging. So once you're besieging a province, you know, press D, it will detach uh, the minimum amount to continue the siege, and yeah, it's far more effective so lower attrition and well just more of it and okay whilst this war is going we should perhaps uh, let's see so we're still we are still reinforcing that's uh, so normal and we will excel in not really military right now but diplomacy it's good um, that means that something. So, um, we have quality idea group. Awesome, we already have it. Better. Much better. Okay, um, perhaps we should uh, do one of these. Improve relationship with Norway. Recover Normandy. Uh, Normandy, 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 Normandy. That is right over. Well, I want to say here. Normandy. Or should we release Normandy? Let's see, what's the question? 
Okay, so of course Normandy is a province. It's not, not a province, it's a series of provinces. Mm. Norway, how anxious are you to be my friend? You are very much anxious to be my friend. Okay, so we will improve relations, start the mission, improve relationships, good. Because, well, you want to do uh, one, one of those three missions, which you are pretty sure you can do quite quickly. And, well, this, I mean, getting a hundred is very straightforward. So, straightforward. It's easy, very easily done. So, it's safe. Okay. Um, can we perhaps start, uh, so press D and move on. Valence. Or Valence. Oh, oui. Valence. Uh, we will, uh, we'll see, I don't know. Sure, or protect uh, protect London, why not? Okay, tension between the nobles and the clergy. That is probably a problem. A lot of paper states already hate us. And surely we do not wish to anger the holy his holiness in Durham, or we'll just uh, take the opinion decrease and send an envoy already to uh, improve the relationship. Okay, we are at war. Good point. Honestly, I do hope uh, Dauphine really uh, makes the peace a very sour one. So the dismantlement, because well, he has complete control. I mean, complete control. You mean, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I'm pretty sure you know what complete control means. <laughs> and if not, well, then I don't know. I'm not really sure what you're doing here, because oh well. Another Highland rebellion. This time, a little bit higher on the Highlanders. So. Um, Kinsult military access, we've won a siege and we now have to deal with these bosses once more. Okay, um... But return, my friends. Uh, let's see... So we're not really besieging anything... Uh, anything with a port, so we should have the advantage over these guys. Because, of course, if you've got a port... A port city, so a city or province with a port, so a port province, my bad. Uh, you also want to really blockade the port because supplies can come in through the port and thus uh, the siege will increase it over time. If you know, I actually find that if it has a port, it should really not really be, yeah, besiegeable. <laughs> I mean, you've got cities which are basically uh, exist existent because of the port, so you usually have a giant open yeah you don't really have a wall towards the sea and just surrounded I don't know, the port is just surrounded by uh by multiple walls except for the sea part you know uh so yeah but say you have cannons you could possibly uh do some more damage uh but yeah i mean i think i think you get what i'm what i'm going for uh where is my navy? Where is my navy? You are here. Okay, we've got eight guys, and you guys will have to continue the siege. Uh, who? Mallorca is not even in this war. Excellent. Less hostility is better. Okay, we'll just besiege you as well. Uh, of course, it says that we need, uh, need to get some more. So uh, we need to. We already got the ticking war score because of uh, the more battles. However, um, we also get the increased uh, war score because we occupy shit. That's good. And I'm getting a little bit distracted by the music because it, because it is new to me. So, yeah, I really like it. It's, yeah. Get you pumping. Okay, and accept the peace. Uh, let's see. With Dauphine. And uh, the following terms. France will be forced to give Dauphine 10% of their income for each month to pay for war reparations. Okay. This is a new feature in the Art of War DLC. I like it. Uh, this will last for 10 years. Uh, okay, Averne will cede for uh, Flores and to Dauphine. Okay, Burgundy will cede to Dauphine. Uh, will announce their claims on Gap. France will release Normandy as a sovereign state. France and its subjects give all claims in England. Nice. France will pay 12 ducats to increase the... Retardation and this piece costs 100 diplomatic points and gives you surface 13.7 aggressive expansion. But damn, Dauphine, you are on the map. Worrisome. Okay, that's good. And then you also accept the peace, and this is what it means white peace. Um, 
because they most likely occupy him. Okay, and this is with... Okay, another white piece, and you are still going, are you not? No, you were in there, okay. So, uh, it's on to us to... Well, should we continue? Because we are about to roll out anyway. So, yeah, we might as well just uh, cancel the wall here completely. So, we want out as well. Uh, however, our price is a little bit more steep. Um... This is fortunately because you took a couple of provinces from our plan. Mm, let me first check how many more diplomatic relationships can I view on country? Two! Okay, we are going to release two countries, that's good. Um, okay, so let's see. We are demanding 10% of the income because, well, fuck you. And the vassalization of Burgundy and Anjou. Okay, and. Well, the claim can go away because they already did that for us. So, clear offer. Okay, there we are. We could also... Uh -huh. Let's see. Well, we don't really want you to know the treats with the Papal States. Honestly, it's not really that big of a deal. Raw war reparations. Okay, that's it. You will give us... Okay, that's, that's a fine piece for a very easy war. So, uh, we get the two uh, guys released. We get... what else? Uh, okay, well, we get money. That's, that's nice. And, of course, because it is the uh, show, show superiority, causes Belli, we get, uh, yeah, a dick load of uh, prestige, of 14 prestige. Okay, we've gained the alliance causes Bella against the Papal States, and... Uh, our allies at war with them. Who is that? You. I'm still at war with France. Interesting. Okay, because of this, uh, we will ally you guys too. Let's see, ally you. And ally you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. And this is all just to make sure that, well, basically no one becomes too big. <laughs> Okay, we can't until the 12th of July. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you, the... So, that's all we wanted to do anyway. Uh, so, and with France really fighting yet another one, honestly. So, personal union with Navarra. And... Okay. That's good. That's all good. Uh, you get yourself. You, okay, you already have a leader. Oh no, you don't. Um, this one. Kick his mom. Kick his mom. Just right in the childhood. Childhood. Okay. Um, forward we go. Escape. So we'll send the navy down. And uh, meanwhile, we are ending this. Uh, yeah. This rebellion, even though it might be a close one. No, okay, no, okay, we're winning it. Good. And now we will go to war against uh, against some of the Irish. Uh, how much refused? Honestly. Um. So yeah, we'll go to war against the Irish nations. And luckily for us, we already have to cast Belli lying around. It's good. So just uh, go over here. You can replenish. And what is your Norway and Foment? That's unfortunate because we are trying to improve relations with uh, Norway. However, we can now take on you. Okay, in two years we can uh, completely annex Scotland. That's also good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, we will have to go to war with Norway. So it's, uh, it's good to have... You know, this army just ready to take Orkney. It is uh, part of Norway for now. Uh, however, this is the end of this episode. Uh, I'm going to take a short break now. And uh, I'd like to ask you to only leave a comment down below what your thoughts are about the series. And you could even comment in wh which direction you want to go. If you are going to go like, well, I find English uh, alternate history, you know, think in that way. So I want to see what happens if England went for Russia. I don't know. It's retarded because... I don't know. Um, but, you know, your wildest fantasies are very much uh, at a place here. So, thanks for watching and uh, bye.